What's going on guys, it's your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Dolphin emulator on Android to play GameCube games. Now the emulator can also play Wii games but because we can't use the motion controls on Android we will focus on just GameCube. But if you play any games from the Wii that doesn't use motion it will work just fine. The phone I am using is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus paired with the GameSir G8 Galileo controller. Okay, let's go ahead and open the Play Store. Go ahead and search for the Dolphin emulator. This is what it will look like, then install. Once it's done, go ahead and hit play. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our games to the emulator. So let's go down to add games. Go ahead and locate wherever you have your GameCube ROMs on your phone. I have a folder here called GameCube Games. Now in order for this emulator to read your ROMs, they must be in an ISO format. So when you first download ROMs, they will be in a compressed format that needs to be extracted. In the Play Store, you will find this app here, 7-Zipper, and this is the app that I use to extract my ROMs. So use this app here to extract your ROMs, making them into an ISO format. Back over on the Dolphin emulator. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit use this folder. Allow Dolphin emulator to access files in GameCube games, allow. And there we are, my ROMs have been uploaded to the Dolphin emulator. And as you see, Dolphin will give each of your games box art. Now let's go up to settings and graphic settings. For the video back end, I find that Vulcan gives me the best performance, but if you are having any stuttering, lagging, or black screen issues, then you may wanna come back here and change this back to OpenGL and see if it improves your gameplay. But I'm going with Vulcan. Let's scroll down. Compile shaders before starting. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on. This way all of your shaders will load before you start a game so they're not compiling while you're playing a game, which will cause your game to freeze and stutter. For the aspect ratio, now this is up to you, but I prefer to play my games at 16 to nine because I want to play my games in full screen. But if you wanna play your games at a four to three aspect ratio or just leave it on auto, which will give you the black bars on the side, that's up to you. But I'm choosing 16 to nine. Scroll down. Let's go to enhancements and internal resolution. Now you can turn your resolution all the way up to 4K, but you have to have a pretty powerful phone. I'm gonna run at three times native 1080p. So you can play around here and see if your phone can handle 4K, and if not, then you wanna come back here and scale down a bit. And if you scroll down a little more, you will see this feature, Disable Fog. Now I'm not gonna turn this on, but I want you guys to be aware of what it does. It makes distance objects more visible by removing fog, thus increasing the overall detail. Disabling fog will break some games which rely on proper fog emulation. So if you wanna try this out, you could turn it on. And the last thing I'm gonna turn on in enhancements is widescreen hack. Now you only need to turn this on if you change your aspect ratio to 16 to nine. So in my case, I need to turn it on. Now let's go back. Now if you have a controller connected to your phone, let's set that up. Let's go back up to settings and GameCube input. Make sure that GameCube Controller 1 is set on Standard Controller. If it's not, just click on GameCube Controller 1 and select Standard Controller. Look over to the right, you will see a gear icon. Click on that. Now make sure you have your controller connected to your phone before opening this emulator and under device, you should see the name of your controller. In my case, Gamester G8. Scroll down till you see buttons and to map out a button, all you wanna do is click on that button so we can start with the A button and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be the A button. B, whatever button I want to be B and repeat the same thing for X, Y, and Z and start. For the control stick, you wanna use your left analog stick. Same thing here, hit up, press up on your left analog stick. Repeat the same thing for the rest of these 
and your C stick will be your right analog stick. And to help you guys map your controller out, I'm gonna show you a picture of what a GameCube controller look like. Now we can go ahead and start up a game and I'm gonna select NBA Street Volume 2. Now you're gonna notice even though we have a controller connected to our phone, we still have on-screen touch controls. To get rid of these, you wanna swipe from the right of your screen, hit the back button, go to overlay controls, and toggle controls. And then you wanna hit toggle all. And this will get rid of your on-screen touch controls. Now if you have some Wii games that don't require motion controls and you want to upload those to the emulator, then go down to add games. Now you can put your Wii games in the same folder as your GameCube games and just click on use this folder again, but I have created a brand new folder on my phone called Wii games. To find this folder, I'm going to click on the name of my phone up here in the left, scroll down. There's the folder, Wii Games. I have one game in here, Sonic Colors. Hit use this folder. And allow Dolphin to have access. Now right here where it says Wii, if we click on this, we'll go to our Wii Games. Now we would not have to reset our controller up to play Sonic Colors because Sonic Colors was a game that you could use GameCube controllers for. All we need to do is load up the game and our controller will work with the GameCube controller settings. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.